So we have the November update, which has a lot of stuff in it. I have the website now. I just kind of threw this together, um, just some basic info on it. Uh, big thing is, you know, the download link. And of course, um, a link to the Fantasy Waifu Collector playlist, as well as a link to the Discord. I'll update this more later, but you know what? This gets the job done, right? It does. So I adjusted the prices of the Ambassador Arena Salon and Stadium. It should be more affordable, but at least with the Ambassador and the Capital, it's still going to be a bit more pricey. In the December update, I have further adjustments so that it's going to be easier to get cash. And of course, uh, I'm recording this on the 2nd, and we just had the uh, rewards from the World Boss. Let's see, I made this smoother, didn't I? I think I did. Well, it's e even more smoother, and you do even more damage in the December update. <laughs> I shouldn't talk about the December update, because I should talk about the November update. That's what this video is for. Okay, so she has the Goddess of Dragons. She is the big goal for November, and I got her done. This is her, uh, completely animated, and I have better and more efficient boss code. So it'll be easier to make bosses going forward. Like, I just need to draw the assets, animate them, and then they'll just kind of work. And it's very cool and fun. Every single part is animated, from the wings to the tail segments, the gauntlet and the dress. Uh, each part can animate separately. If you notice the wings, how they fold in and fold out. Going into the blacksmith, here's a new item. I've updated the icons and I have a progress bar. So this is tier five and we go up to one, two, three, four, five. So you've made it this far. The next one required is this ore, the platinum ore. I have zero. And anything beyond that is going to be yellow, so this is the ore you need. And of course with the updated icons, if you go into the shop, I mean it's going to say platinum, but the icons are distinguished now, so I mean you can actually see which ones are the platinum. I had to redo all the personality poses in the, so that they line up in the banner itself. Uh, they were some interesting poses otherwise because they'd be off screen and maybe like an arm just sticking in. That's fixed now. I did a lot of um, server slash backend work. Uh, I added an actual maintenance mode so all I gotta do is uh, put a one in a field and any game that or any client that connects it's gonna say oh you're in maintenance mode and the server is also going to return a maintenance mode message which I can control from the server itself. When the client connects it syncs with the server's time. I have it currently set to uh, the time zone of America, New York, but I may change to UTC later um, because that's more world standard like UTZ, UTZ, UTC0 <laughs> and then um, any resets happen at midnight server time. I also added a chat. Hello, YouTube. I have this timed very slow right now uh, with a 10 second relay. Uh, just mainly because this is new and, you know, I want to see how this works. So it sends a message to the server, and then whenever a client comes back to. Actually, not. Not even when it comes back to the main screen. Whenever it, whenever a client goes to a different screen, it gets chat messages. So this chat can technically be on any screen. And for right now, it's just on this main login screen. It's limited to 250 characters. I whitelisted a character list with symbols uh, revert reserved for emoji. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to put emoji in here, but and also I kind of want this like resizable and movable. That would be nice. 
so the skill animations, uh, they're, uh, actually, uh, this, this affects like the whole battle thing. So, uh, skills are done before an attack and I made it so that every skill now takes five seconds to, I guess, like cast. And then after the skill is done, then they do an attack. I did this just for the player teams. The enemy teams will always do their skill and attack at the same time so that their attacks can be delayed. And that can be adjusted, which contributes to game difficulty. And here we are with the banners. Everyone's aligned. Yay, good stuff. Yeah, I got some rewards. Awesome. In here, if you're trying to upgrade, it'll say how much you need to upgrade. But if you don't have enough materials, it's going to now say how many ore you need. Since I have a bunch of materials, you can't see that message. Just just pretend. We're going to do, we're going to pretend it says, oh, you need three more gold ore. So with the whole bond system, I added negative bond effects. The lower the bond, anything below neutral, the less chance a skill will be used. So this character right here, there's no profit in this. So she hates me. And she's basically at negative 99 bond. So there's a 50% chance she'll use a skill instead of 100% chance. Because I think, I think my front line likes me. So they, they're always going to use their skill. And in the future, I'm going to add positive bond effects. So the higher the bond, then uh, you're going to get some positive effects. So you don't want to abuse your waifus. That's basically what it is. Yeah, see, she hates me. The reason why she hates me is because um, she faints a lot and uh, makes it to the... If, if the game is, or if the mini game or quest is won, she's usually the one fainted. Because, I mean, well, she's the one that revives. Added a skill bonus for some nature specific quests. The, uh, so if the skill itself, nature, like red is lava, if it matches the quest type, then it gets a bonus, a times two bonus. So on her lazy whatnot affects agility negative 1483 adds 1483 to the attack multiplier so this is going to be doubled so it's gonna be like negative 29 positive 29 when this character is used in hunting quest now since we're talking about stats in the library if we look at lazy so Previously, I just had the level 1 with 1 star, and it showed, like, just the stats. So I added a level 200 with 6 stars and full set. So this is what you can kind of work for. It adds up. And this is, like, a fully maxed character. With the equipment set bonus, that means every equipment slot is of the same nature. <clears throat> that matches this one. So... Going back to here, all these have the red icon, which means she's getting a 200% bonus, nature bonus. So on Urgent Quest, I added a boss dossier of what to expect. So it has the name of the boss, how much health they have, what skill they have, the difficulty, this is kind of, I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's whatever. And then what kind of strategy to use? So for the trash pile, you need to use skills that bypass defense because it's going to protect itself, which means, oops. All right, so, hey, I can talk about the story stuff. So character slides in, they start talking. You can now click to, okay, so I didn't click here, but I'm going to click on the next one. Bam, immediately finishes it. I changed uh, skills of urgent bosses to kind of more align with the each boss personality. So this is, uh, of course, I have the Goddess of Dragons as a placeholder boss for every boss right now. But 
in the future she'll be replaced and uh, in this one she'll be replaced with the trash pile <laughs> so uh, if you see these icons these are now favorited characters if you just want to show favorite boom on ones that aren't favorited doesn't have the icon boom so at maximum bond <laughs> which i don't have anyone uh this will become a editable text box you can click on it and then you can type in a new name and that'll be their name going forward please don't put swear words as names please be nice if someone pu pulls a ur character a message will travel across the screen since i'm up to date uh, i can't really demo this you know what let's do a lucky roll it's gonna be a lucky roll i'm gonna get a ur in here right Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Game, why you do this? Again, pretend. I pulled a UR and it's gonna have a message. Hey, psychopath pulled UR uh Tabitha. So oh here we go, Arena. Jeez. So I had a placeholder game called Catball, which isn't done yet. And this is perfect to show off because uh, PvP scores reset at the end of the month. So I'm going to pick a team, and we are going to play a game of I win. A random person from your team will run in, and enemy team will run in. They'll do a power comparison. Just straight power. Nothing else. Whoever has the highest power will say I win. That person wins. And this, uh, since I got the Steam Deck, I started writing controls to be steam deck friendly it only affects the login screen and uh, so far it's working um, but I need to apply the controls to you know the rest of the game besides one screen <laughs> and there was also a bug where the uh, tutorial wasn't actually possible to uh, win which is kind of awkward trash chan is trash and she couldn't even win against a level or a one hit point thing. Let's do this as a November video. I'm going to create my account. Yes. Almost forgot my password here. Cool. Yeah, so I'm going to. You can now skip through this super quick. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not going to read anything because I don't like to read story in games. I just like to click on things and watch numbers get higher. And then I don't know what to do because I didn't pay attention and I'm just clicking things, getting through the game as fast as I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't I honestly forgot what to do. So this, that was a good test. Yeah, 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 you just click the shiny stuff. You don't need to read anything. You don't need to read instructions. So yeah, this, this part. This, uh, this first uh, tutorial of, uh, hey, um, this is how fighting works. And, um, yeah, Trash Chan would run in and she would die. <laughs> yeah. Like, I gotta demo this. I gotta make sure it still works. So, since since it changed... Yeah, see? Nice. So, the skill... Trash Hand doesn't have its skill, so she just kind of stands there. Which gives the boss a chance to attack first. And the boss, <laughs> with 1 HP, was killing Trash Chan, who had 1 HP. And this is as far as you could go on a new account. <laughs> Whoops! So yeah, that's fixed. And you know what? That is it.